Welcome back. In the last class, we learned how to do two digit multiplications using the formula vertically and crosswise very easily. In today's class, we will use the same formula and see how to multiply any number times any number in one line just like that. Before we start the class, let's pray to zero. Close your eyes, fold your hands and say along with me. Om Purnamadaha Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachyate Purnasya Purnamadaya Slowly, open your eyes. A quick recap of what we learned last time. Suppose you have a two-digit multiplication. Okay, how many calculations did we actually do? Three calculations, okay? So one is vertical multiplication on the left. And then there is a crosswise multiplication and there is a vertical multiplication on the right. So this three, how it came is, we are multiplying a two digit number with a two digit number. Two plus two is a four, four minus one is a three. Okay, that's why we are doing three calculations and we are simply writing out three digit answer. Okay, if there is a carry, there could be one more digit, right? Now we have a three digit times three digit multiplication. How many calculations do we need to do? Can you guess? So three plus three is a six. Six minus one is a five. So we need to do five calculations using the vertically and crosswise. I will tell you what are those five calculations and then you have to do those calculations, okay? So first, okay, you can start from left or you can start from right. You know that. Okay, first what we do is, what we do, we simply multiply these two digits and then write down the answer. Okay, here we have something. And then what we do, we shift our center to between these two digits and then we do a crosswise multiplication and then write down the answer here. Okay. And then what we do, we shift our center to here. So here, what we do is, you multiply, the cross multiplication goes like this, and then there is also a vertical multiplication here, okay? Because we are centered here. So there are three multiplications and we add all of them. And we write down the answer here. And then we shift our center to here. Okay, here what we do, we simply have to cross multiply and add here. And then write down the answer here. And finally, we multiply these two digits on the right vertically and write down the answer here. So totally one, two, three, four, five calculations. Okay, if there is a carry, there could be a six digit. Otherwise, there is basically, it's a five digit answer. Now, pause the video and see if you can do this multiplication by yourself and write down the answer. Okay, we can do this together. We can do from left to right. Or right to left okay there are no carries so we can simply start from the left so first on the left what we do vertical multiplication one times one here is the center answer is a one and then we shift the center here this is one times one plus one times one it's a two okay and then here we already see this okay one times one plus one times one plus one times one eight said three and then we shift our center here it's one times one plus one times one eight said two and then finally we have a vertical multiplication on the right one times one is a one wow now we have a little difficult problem where there will be some carries you want to do this by yourself 
maybe you can start doing from right to left and use pen and paper and simply come up with these five calculations by yourself. Pause the video. Okay, we can do this together. So we start from the right, what we do here, we are centered here and it's simply a vertical multiplication. 4 times 1 is a 4. Okay, and then we shift our center to here. So this is a crosswise multiplication and addition. Okay, this is 0 and this is 8. Okay, this is simply 8. And then we shift our center to here. Okay, here we have three calculations. Okay, we have a 12 plus 5, 17, and there is a 0. Okay, it's a 17. So there is a 1 is a carry and 7 is the answer. And then now the center is here. So what we do, it's a cross, multiply, and add, okay, these two digit numbers. So 10 plus 0 is a 10, there is a carry. So 10 plus 1 is 11, 1, 1, okay, and then now we are at the beginning. 5 times 3 is a 15, 15 plus 1 is a 16, okay, so 16, so there is a carry here. So it's a 6 digit number because we have 3 digits here and 3 digits here at most. They can give us six digit answer as simple as this. Now pause the video and try this multiplication by yourself. Maybe you can do it in mind. Okay, so shall we do this together? Okay, we start from left because you're using mind. Okay, first what do we do? Three times three is a 9. So 9 is the number in mind. Don't look here, okay? We save a number here. And then we have a cross, multiply, and add. Okay, 6 plus 6 is a 12. 1 is a carry, gets eaten by 9. 9 becomes 10. So 1, 0, 2, that's the number in mind. Okay, don't look here. It's a 1, 0, 2. And then, and then we have the center now here. Okay, we have a 3, we have a 3, and we have a 4. Total is a 10. So 1 is the carry. Okay, we have 102 in mind. So that becomes 103, and then there is a 0. So the number in mind is 1030. Okay, don't look here. Okay, and then we move our center to here. What we have is simply 2 plus 2 is a 4. Okay, and then there is a 1. Simply so, 1, 0, 3, 0, and then 4, 1. So the answer is 1, 0, 3, 0, 4, 1. As simple as this. Wow, we now have a four digit multiplication. I have not yet told you the procedure, but maybe you can do this by yourself. So here we have a four digit number and four digit number. Four plus four is a eight. Eight minus one is a seven. So we will be doing seven calculations and there is a seven digit answer. Pause the video and see if you can do this by yourself. Vedic maths is intuitive, okay? So we'll see if you got it right or not. Okay, first we start here. Okay, 1 times 1 is a 1, and then we shift our center here. Okay, this is 1 plus 1 is a 2, and then here is our center. Okay, we take these three digits. So, cross, multiply, and also there is a vertical multiply. It's a 3, and then here is the key. Now here, we are at this center, so we have to handle all four digits. What we do, so we multiply these two and these two, and then we multiply these two and these two. So four multiplications, okay, basically it's a four, and then we shift our center here, so now we handle these three columns. So cross multiply, cross multiply, and there's a vertical multiply, so there are three multiplications, so the answer is a three, and then here we shift our center here. So it's simply we handle these two columns, so it's a 2 and finally here it's a 1 times 1 is a 1. As simple as this. We will do a funny thing here. Okay, suppose you have a 4 digit times 2 digit multiplication. Hmm, okay, how to do this? Okay, you can do 
First you put zeros here and then treat this number as a four digit number and then do this multiplication by yourself from right to left using pen and paper. Pause the video. Okay, we can start from the right. So first, our center is here. So one times two is a two. And then this is our center. We do a cross multiply and add four plus three is a seven. And then our center is here. Here we handle three columns. So this is a zero. This is a six. This is a six. Okay, six plus six is a 12. So one is a carry and then there is a two comes down. Our center is here. Here we handle all the four columns. So this is one times zero is a zero. And then we have a four times two is a eight. And then there is a zero and then there is a nine. So eight plus nine is a 17. Okay, there is a carry. So 18, so one, eight. And then we come here. Here we handle three digit, three columns. So zero and then 12 and then zero. So 12 plus one is a 13. And then we shift our center here. There is nothing here, only one. The carry simply comes down. And then there is nothing here. The answer is this, one, three, eight, two, seven, two. Didn't you think there should be an easier way? Why should we make a two digit number into a four digit number and do seven calculations? If we have a four digit number and a two digit number, how many calculations we should ideally have? Four plus two is a six, six minus one is a five. So the answer should come in five steps. Why should we take seven steps? Okay, now I will tell you the funny thing where we can get the answer in five steps using something called a moving multiplier method. Here you go. I have set up this problem for you. Here we are moving this multiplier into different positions and we can simply do only five calculations and come up with the answer, okay? One calculation, second one, third one, fourth one, and fifth one. Now pause the video and see what I have done here. And then do this multiplication by yourself. Maybe you can use pen and paper and from right to left, you can try, pause the video. Okay, so first we can start from the right. So one times two, is a two. And then the second calculation is the cross multiply and add. Four plus three is a seven. Okay, and then the next calculation is this cross multiply and add. So this is six plus six is a 12. Okay, so one is a carry, two comes down. And then the next calculation is this cross multiply and add. So eight plus nine is a 17 plus one is a 18. So one is a carry. And then finally four times three is a 12. 12 plus one is a 13. As simple as this. Whenever I teach this moving multiplier method, children laugh like anything. Okay, now you can do this problem by using moving multiplier by yourself. Actually, there are no carries. You can do from left to right or right to left. Simply you can tell the answer. Pause the video. Here is the answer for you. Did you get it right? Before we close for today, I want to tell you a couple of funny things. Okay, suppose we have a multiplication problem like this. It's a three digit multiplication problem, but we see the digits are very small. Okay, especially if you see this 12 and 13, so these are very small digits. Maybe we can treat this as a two digit multiplication. Okay, this is a trick. Say for example, you consider this number as a single digit number and this number as a single digit number and then you do the usual way of two digit multiplication. So 
vertically on the left, cross, multiply, and add, and vertically on the right. Can you do this by yourself? Pause the video. Okay, we can do from left to right or right to left. Okay, let's start from right to left. 3 times 2 is a 6. Okay, and then we have cross, multiply, and add. So 24 plus 39 is a 63. So 6 is the carry. And then you have 12 times 13. We know this very well. Okay, it's 1, 5, 6. And then add a 6, it's a 1, 6, 2. Okay, as simple as this. The other variation, the other funny thing is here. Suppose we have this three digit multiplication, okay? Can we do this as a two digit multiplication? Okay, so we can take this and this as a single digit number, but these are little big. What we can do? You can take this as a single digit number and this as a single digit number and we can simply do the three calculations and then write down the answer. But the only thing we need to take care is because the right hand side column contains two digits actually. So at every calculation, we will have a two digit answer. Okay, two digits here, two digits here and two digits here. That's the only thing. Okay, now pause the video and try this by yourself. Okay, we can do this together. So first, 4 times 12 is a 48. Okay, we write a 48 here. And then we have a cross multiply and add. So this is a 36 plus 16 is a 52. Okay, this also, we don't put any caddies here. Okay, because it's a two digit answer we are putting. If the third digit comes, that will be a carry. Okay, and then here we have 3 times 4 is a 12. Okay, this is the answer. Now you can have fun with the homework problems given in the video description below. That's all for today. Thank you.